You are now tuned into Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living, peace, love, and light. Peace and love, peace and love, and welcome back to www.freeingtheminds.com and another episode of The Art of Peace. Let's just get right on into it. Uh, art of Peace, if this is your first time joining us on The Art of Peace, ultimately we use art to hmm, attain a peace of mind, man, and attain a peace of mind through art, free creative expression, man. So feel free to pull out some pens or some pencils or some illustration tools as well. Today we're going to be using just the wreaths, just the wreaths today, and some charcoal, and we'll go into one of these charcoal bits. We'll go into one of these charcoal. So we're going with the wreaths, soft pastels, and some charcoal. We're just going to go right on into it. So if you want to join us along, feel free. Don't worry about trying to draw anything that looks like what we're going to be doing here because what we do here is freestyle. It's really all coming through the spirit, coming through the being. Nothing predetermined, man. It's kind of just coming through. So. As we center on in, let's just go right on into this piece, right? So I'm just seeing, like we talked about before, oftentimes, it's going to set these reeds down. Oftentimes, like we talked about before, I like to come in with the face and go in then from there. But as we go in, first off, how was your day? How was your day? Or how do you think your day is going to be? How was yesterday? Depending on when you see in this, I guess that's going to determine where we're at with that question, whether it's daytime or nighttime or what time it is. Now here I just see like a face. I'm just going to come to this face like this. Ultimately, what I'm seeing is like, you know, I just see a person right here, right now, with their eyes closed.
things happen in a day. You never know what'll happen. So we pray. And right now this man is praying. Man or woman. And what we see is reason why I asked, how was your day? And I'm conscious of the fact that I can't necessarily hear you, but I can definitely read your comments, and I do. And on top of that, more warily, in the process of us responding to that question, even just thinking of that question, one reflects, self-reflecting. Self-reflecting. Appreciating one's day. And ultimately, appreciation is key to survival and one's happiness. Appreciating just the everyday realities of life. Appreciating the everyday realities of life because we could be going through anything and many of us are going through everything. Simultaneously living the experience, the dream of life. And as we live this dream of life, going through so many things, we take account of our lives. Taking note of the things and the happenings within them. And by way of noticing these things, we realize the gift within them all. Now, talking before about life, right? We were talking before about the present being present, the present being a gift, as well as a pre-delivered, predestined, a pre-packaged experience, predetermined, presented, present, right? Present, present, right? And in this present moment, predestined moment, that means wherever you're at at any point in time is divine. You were meant to be there. Now, within that. One goes through so many things throughout one's life, the episodes in life, and all that we constitute as life goes through these cycles. Love, frustration and aggression, happiness, sadness, birth, death. Regeneration, seasons of life. He's at a table, or rather, an altar. He's at an altar. Praying. Maybe this altar that he's praying at is his own bed. Where he sleeps before bedtime. Now, as we were talking, this prepackaged experience of life, right? Now, this prepackaged experience, any moment, wherever you're at, then, like we said, the divine place you're supposed to be here. It's present, destined. Any experience chosen before you even realized you chose it. Now, with these prepackaged experiences, these prepackaged experiences.
one might ask or say, why am I going through such? Why am I going through this? Everything we go through everywhere we're at builds us towards where we're going and who we are. The tree and the seed becoming the tree right next to its tree. Asking itself, thinking that it's different than the tree. The seed thinking it's different than the tree, but the tree and the seed are one and the same. For example, like when we look at the seed and the tree, they're one and the same. The man is praying, right? Or this individual is praying, right? But the seed and the tree are one and the same. Like the seed over here, thinking that it's something different than the tree. And it's something different in the tree and it might even think like, hey, what's going on? The seed. Seeds. And then the tree over here. Stretching his arms out. itself knowing it's great knowing its greatness knowing its greatness continues on greatness stands firm and continues to reach out tree and in its greatness it knows itself it knows itself through generations the trees it knows itself through generations it knows itself as the tree it knows itself as the fruit it knows itself as the seed it knows itself giving birth to all of that it knows itself as its mother that it came from the little seed it itself that it once was it was once a little seed itself, but now it's a big tree that has gone through all the stages of manifestation as the process of life, as the process of experience, as the process of regeneration, as the process of all that we were talking about before, stages of life and the processes of life. But the amazing thing and the interesting thing and the magnificent thing of the tree, it did all of this from one location. It did all of its experience, all of its expression, all of its magnification 
all of it stretching out, all of it finding out who it is, seeing itself through the generations and the lineages, seeing itself through its ancestry, reaching itself and its ancestry and feeding itself and its ancestral and its lineages, all from the same location where it was planted, firmly rooted into the ground. It sets up shock and stays there. The tree sets up shock and stays there. It doesn't even think about abandoning its space. Allows things to come in there joyfully and enjoy its space and place and time because it knows that it's here for the ride. It's here for the ride. How long that ride is, the tree itself doesn't even know. Well, people come down, chop down trees all the time. The tree knows this. The tree is prepared for this. So the tree must firmly root itself and make itself useful somehow, some way. So what will it do? It'll produce. What will it produce? It'll produce more of its own self to make sure that it duplicates and repeats and replicates itself through time. So if anything does happen to it, its seeds will live on, literally. Its seeds will live on. It put the right stuff, prepare the soil the right way from the roots on up. Prepare the soil the right way. The tree is very wise. Many lessons to be learned from the tree. The tree teaches us so much about life so much about our own selves. So we have to appreciate and honor these trees. Everywhere you go, when you see a tree, next time you go out there, give a tree a hug. Give a tree a kiss. For real, for real, a nice, strong thank you for all of your lessons. Thank you for your, oh man, your beautiful oxygen that you provide for us. You've helped to sustain and maintain and give life to us. Gave birth to us. Proceed and prepare the earth for us, you know, good old Mother Earth, you know, all these trees, you gotta just give thanks, man, when you see them. So, now we have the tree on in there, and the seed just, uh. And then you got the seed the germ, the so-called little germ that gets planted. And it's that little seed that becomes this magnificent tree and it doesn't understand how it becomes it. It's like, yo, I become this? Yes, the seed is the tree and the tree is the seed. They're one and the same and they share the same lineages and the processes. And if one is so true, to stay true to itself, go through the processes right there where it's at, man. Work with the soil that it is given. Work with the nutrients that surround it. Work with what is there. Work with what is there. It'll manifest itself into this tree. Going back to the present and the present and the predestined, where you're planted and where you're at and the things that you're going through are predestined and predetermined. They're right there for you. How are we going through them is the way is a question. How are we going through these things? One might be like, how am I going through this? Why am I going through this now? How am I going through this? And those are the questions, yes. But now, are you asking them from the right way? How am I going through this? Or how am I going through this? How am I going through this? Like how, what is the mentality of my approach? What is, what's going on in my mind, in my head, and in my heart? What are the thoughts and things that I'm holding valuable? And how am I taking those sacred things and putting them forth in life, you know what I'm saying? Instituting them in life and making them a part of my life and other people's lives just by them being fully firmly implanted in mine. Such as being a positive person and a positive thinker. How does that help me and other people? How, and my love for life and appreciation for life and nature and helping those the same. Plant a tree, plant a seed or something like this. Then you'll start to feed other people. But we start to see then how our actions are connected to our thoughts and our thoughts are connected to the well development of the overall good. As well as not just the development and anchoring of self, but of the continuation of one's lineage. And the one's lineage is that of the planet, one of life, one of life itself. Like this tree, man. It's not alone in this game. Just like these seeds are not alone in the game. So now, we see the consistency and the connectivity of life through generations, right? Now, as we sit here, this man continues to pray. What's going on in his head? What's going on in his head? Well, one thing for sure.
auxiliaries on one face he has that halo over his head searching for his light speaking of his light his light is radiant very magnificent his or her light is radiant very magnificent and in this magnificent because birth is a portal the prayer the power of prayer the power of thought the power of deep desire and intention gives birth to a portal and now it becomes very difficult to determine where his head and his body and his mind ends and where the portal begins it's almost like he is the portal and the portal is him and all these things Edifications of that. This portal, the mind, the mind opens up a portal. The mind itself is this portal. itself is the portal and it's hard to tell where that portal ends and where he begins but it's like a shining light onto the mind you never really know fully how powerful one is in this lifetime. You never really know fully how powerful you are in this lifetime. We limit ourselves by so many thoughts and actions. We limit ourselves by so many thoughts and actions. Sometimes our thoughts are irrelevant compared to our being. Sometimes our thoughts are irrelevant compared to our being. Sometimes just being is all that is needed. I go back to that once again. The waves, frequencies of light, it's like, mm-hmm, So we go through it, pre-sent, predestined, right where you're supposed to be all the time. Just hold it down where you're at, man. Hold it down and go through it. Whatever it is that we're dealing with, just deal with them. Right where we're at. No need to go all wild. No need to feel out of place. You know, we're where we're supposed to be as we're there. Now moment, how 
that might be. Where I'm at. How am I being while I'm where I'm at? How am I being? How am I being? Am I being thankful? Am I gratuitous? Am I sharing my gratuity? Working towards the greater good of all concerned or am I just chalking it up and going along with the rest of the frequencies of the planet that are going into chaos? Because when you look at this thing, everything serves its purpose. Even all this craziness that's happening, man, is working towards a negative. That's working towards negative is working towards a positive. All this stuff that's even negative, appearing to be negative, is actually working towards a positive. As crazy as it sounds, but it's a lot of times this thing is out of our perspective. The things that we can control, we definitely need to gain control of, but the things that are out of control better resolutions things that are out of control need better resolutions better resolutions like basically they call for the man and the woman the human being to get active to call attention to the planet to the things in which we have done to create these certain situations such as you know the life depleting on the planet of natural life such as the rate of mortality and people dying so easily over foolish things, the lack of care of life and value of it, and call to the recognition that there is a problem. And even though these arguments are happening online, socially, even trolling and stuff like this, it puts a emphasis on the soul of the individual reading these things, seeing these things, questioning where their heart and their soul is at. And at the same time that happens, I mean, this whole healing is happens on an individual basis. Uh, a person heals because they want to heal. A person, a healer, doctor, anybody could be working to heal a person. But if the person doesn't want to heal, they will not heal. They'll go right back to that same illness, maybe even a worser one. So the person that's calling for the healing really has to want the healing. So what happens is when things get to the high degree in which they're happening naturally as well as unnaturally, they force situations to be in. Like every action cause is, causes and creates a reaction. So therefore, what's going to be the reaction? What's going to be the response? Is one going to better oneself and better one's way of being? Or is one going to submit to it and just uh, succumb to whatever happens in life. I would hope to think the first rather than the latter. Make the adjustment and become a better being because the world needs healing right now and that's what we need in this world. More light. So, the blue obviously representing like the sky, but as well as represents the wisdom of life. We're surrounded by this blue energy in life. Nature is always speaking loudly, verbally, vocally to us. But are we listening to what nature is saying? It's always there. But are we listening to what nature is saying? Like truly listening because it's there all the time. Like truly there. Speaking to and through and all over us, you know, but are we listening? Are we listening? The yellows of the sun, the willpower. Nature is very willing, very willing, and quite able to create all things possible. But are we listening? Are we listening? So this bed upon which the one is praying may be a bed of grass. bed of grass.
a blade of grass. And it's ultimately like, that's just who we are, man. Beings of nature. Seeds becoming trees, giving birth to fruits. This fruit, what is this fruit? This fruit is the apple. The apple. You notice how the apple kind of looks like a heart. See what I'm saying? Now let's go like this. So it's ultimately whatever you are, whoever you are, wherever you're going through, you just go through it. Go through it gracefully. And acknowledge. fact that every day is a gift and a blessing man every day above ground is a gift and a blessing man knowledge that fact right there and you'll get through man knowledge the creator's hand in everything you do and you'll definitely get through you know because uh there's only one way to zion and that is through love and liberty. Live and let live. Live and let live. Live and let live. So it becomes a cycle of life. of life the cycle of life so it's ultimately the power of endurance we see an awareness that tree the awareness that tree and seed must share. See and tree must share that awareness. Because they are one and the same. The stages and the cycles and the processes of life, when we become used to them, we become accustomed to them, we become aware of them and we realize and we accept them. They become second nature. Then whatever happens, happens. You don't feel the need to flee or go or run or any of that things for that matter. Just stick it through, realizing you're staying power. Realize you're staying power. And stay in power. the peace we are on for today. Staying power in the fruit and sticking it through. You know, it's a beautiful thing, this life, man. And these are just ultimately some of the fruits of life. And that's where we're, uh, that's what we're in. Life.
fruits of life. Fruits of life. You know, gotta be thankful. <laughs> Smiley face. And that's that. Mm hmm. head it all reaches out Fruits of life. And, uh, that's that. That's that. The fruits of life, man. The fruits of life are every day. The fruits of life are every breath. The fruits of life are every moment in this piece. Experience this piece, right? This experience, the art of life. Life is the art. Life is the grand design. Every day we wake up and we're living in the universe's grandest picture. The grand design of life, man. We gotta recognize these things, man. Each moment is special. Each moment is a gift. Each moment is predestined and preset. Value it. Cherish it. Be in it. Infuse each moment with your power. What you desire. What you intend. What you inspire to what you inspire for and what you live this life for. Give birth to your fruits. Go through the stages and dig your roots and plant your seeds firmly where you're at, which is everywhere you are. Everywhere you are and everywhere you go. We have these legs for walking and experiencing and moving and movement. So let's move. Let's be our soul, soul selves, our true selves, and carry out our deepest desires of love, positivity, and creative passion. That being said, I wish you nothing but love and light. If you do are interested in any of these pieces in which we create during these shows or outside of the show and thereafter, for, a, for that matter, any of the artworks, feel free to check us out online, www.freeingtheminds.com, as well as contact me via email, which a couple people have already. So um, we can, you know what I'm saying, go through everything, but they're all reasonable, man. Everything is reasonable here, man, as you already know. The intent is love, delivery, and positivity and expression, man. So keep on moving in that direction. I wish you nothing but love and light this day and every. Thank you again for tuning on in to Free in the Minds, The Art of Peace. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace and love to you. Peace. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.